Um, we're going to start with some conversation about uh, about terminology in um, in blockchain. And uh, one of the reasons I brought Gabriel in is because uh, Gabriel's passionate about this subject. So I'm going to give him an opportunity to maybe help us understand this terminology, Web3. Um, we'll come back to Earnhardt, but, uh, but Web3. So Gabriel, let me ask you this, is that this term Web3 is thrown around out there today. Does it really even exist? What is Web3 and what is Web1 or Web2 or whatever? Can you help us understand that? I can help you understand that. And uh, I think we just need to, to go over really quick uh, Web1 and one two, uh, Web1 and Web2 just before we go over Web3. Um, so it, it really all just starts from the creation of the internet, right? And that's that's Web 1.0. And I know we all remember using Windows XP and Windows 95 and uh, how it was pretty much just browser technology and read-only, uh, Yahoo, uh, Google. We didn't have very much. So Web 1 was was very simplistic and it was- You really remember cool. those things, Gabe? I do remember those things. I know it's, <laughs> it, was, it was a while ago, but we still remember those things. Okay. And uh, so the, the further evolution of that is is going to be Web 2.0, um, which adds a social media, pretty much social media and uh, a social aspect to to Web 1.0. So we're able to read and we're able to write. And uh, the, the last evolution of uh, the web or not the last, but currently right now, Web 3.0 would be uh, the further uh, evolution of uh, the social media or platforms, decentralized applications, and the impl implant. I'm sorry, implement implementation of blockchain technologies. So pretty much decentralized applications uh, on top of what we already have, and uh, the implementation of of blockchain technology. Okay, good, good. Now, um, I've even had, I've heard some people out there say that they don't think there's such word really as Web 3.0 is that it's really the internet and it's just continuing to mature and expand. And so I, I choose not to have a debate on whether there's really a Web 1, 2, and 3 as much as focusing on what's the value of where we're going and what are we doing, all right? And so maybe along those lines, what I'd like to do is I'd like to, Luis, could you Give us a little bit of insight into what are some of the attributes or characteristics of what we're calling, you know, Web3 or, you know, blockchain today. Well, uh, Web3, uh, and by the way, Gabriel, you did an excellent job in summarizing. <laughs> summarizing it's just a the simple, of, very of simple. The, of, of the internet. Uh, I think the, the key point for Web3 is decentralization. So mm -hmm. like Web 1 uh, was decentralized, Web 2 it's quite centralized. Mm -hmm. So it basically it's governed by uh, a few companies. Uh, a few companies govern on uh, most part of, of, the, of the internet. So what uh, Web 3 um, brings back is again decentralization. So we, we can again own our data. And why this is important? I, I can give you a brief example of this is important. A uh, while ago, uh, I was browsing for, uh, to buy a new laptop. Uh, I, I browsed for a specific uh, model and in Google, and five minutes later, I was uh, looking for something else in another web page, and boom, uh, appears uh, a head from a major Portuguese online retailer saying uh, uh, the price of that exact computer that I was browsing about. So basically, that Portuguese computer uh, online uh, retail store is paying Google for my analytics. So the, the key uh, to Web3 is, again, own our data. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google make billions with our data. So it's trying to claim what is ours, our data. And we can make use of our data. We can monetize our data as we wish. If we wish we cannot monetize it, if we not if we wish, you can monetize it and, and have uh, some royalties about that. But basically, uh, the key point here is the decentralization. And because Web 1, we have a read-only uh, aspect. Web 2 is read-write. In Web 3, we have read-write and own the, the data. So this is quite, quite important. Uh, yes. And also because uh, Web3, and I'm just finishing here, this quick summary, it's Web3, it will be uh, community government, so it's not decentralized. Mm -hmm. uh, you said community property, is that what you said? Yeah, community government. Uh, oh, more okay. like this. 
Yeah. And, um, you know, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to talk about the private and public, you know, natures of these things. 